We've got sun gold tomatoes. Those are the best. You can see them on the bush here. These are absolute favorite. They are like candy. They are so sweet. It's Amanda and Bill and Sophie and Alex and we are here to give you our July garden tour because a lot has grown and we have harvested quite a bit since our last tour. At the end of this video I'll put in a bunch of pictures of all of the things that we have harvested already as well. Let's take a look around the garden and see what is ripe now. Blueberries for our little this blueberry. is our little blueberry eater. This is our little everything eater. We give her anything from the garden and she'll eat it. Are you my little tomato. blueberry picker? You gonna pick some blueberries too? Well, should we cut that tomato? Well, why don't you go give it to daddy? You can see that the zucchini plant has a couple of zucchinis I could pick now or let them get a little bigger. Another couple that are still small there and forming. This cherry tomato plant is a little behind because I got it when it was very small but it should be making ripe tomatoes pretty quick. This is the early girl. That'll be our first big size tomato and it you can tell it's almost ready. That's the way they'd pick it if they were going to put it in the store. It's about that ripe. All these sun gold plants coming coming along. And cucumbers are pretty happy. Let's see if we can see any of the cucumbers in there. There's one. We've already picked all the big ones. Yeah, you hold I, I just harvested the, these guys, but you see that one's uh that one's almost ready. That'll yeah. be a pickle. And that one's a uh, heirloom tomato that still has a way to go, but has some green ones. And that's uh, lemon cucumbers. We're just starting yeah. to get those. Got one of those, the first one of those today, actually. Beefsteak type tomatoes. Those are slicing cukes. There's a few that are starting on that one. Those I think I mostly planted from seeds, so they started a little later. We're getting some strawberries now. Gotten a few really tasty ones. Sophie eats them pretty much as so, soon as yeah. No, Sophie. Picking more cucumbers, cucumbers and sun more sun gold tomatoes. And pickles, or pickling cukes. As you can see, we like cherry tomatoes here. We, yeah, he always does a butt ton of the sun golds. Yeah, and we, are, and we eat all of them. We just so. eat them off the plant. We'll sometimes put them in salads, but usually they just get they really Usually they just get eaten first. <laughs> so Another good. Beefsteak style tomato. You can see some of those ones down in there. I think this is an heirloom, but that one will be ripe in not too distant future. That is a eggplant that is finally making some blooms. This is our shade garden and you can see that everything's sort of bolting here. So we're going to have to chop a bunch of that down. Bolting is just when it starts getting really tall yeah, and, and kind of bitter. Tall and trying to reproduce basically. Yeah, trying to go to seed. Yeah. So we're going to chop a bunch of that down. I'm going to replant some lettuce and chard. But we're still getting some lettuce leaves off of these over here. Yeah. I pulled some off for our smoothie this morning. And we harvested all the broccoli over here too. The herbs are the same as ever here. Same as yeah. last time. These are our, our various bell peppers and you can see that if you look this here. This is the purple one. Yeah, some of those got picked by the kids prematurely, but uh, that's the peppers. They will be ripe right eventually here. And you can see all these peppers are happy, and these peppers aren't. The jalapenos just are not happy, and I'm not quite sure yeah. why. Last Bell year peppers, the habaneros did really well, but this year the maybe jalapenos, the pots, not so much. I, I don't know. Yeah. Or they're just not feeling like they're getting quite enough light. They're getting almost 12 hours a day. Yeah, so. I don't know. Bill just picked a couple of the banana peppers here. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. The banana peppers are really good. <laughs> Here's our fig tree that's being taken over by morning glory. Yeah, my morning glory. What planet do we live on? Earth. Earth, so yes. You, these are the figs that are sprouting this year. These are the figs that are left over from last year. And these ones are almost ripe. They're getting soft. We'll actually be able to eat that one. Yeah, that one and this one. There's a couple oh. of them. Yeah. So this is a sugar pumpkin plant. And you can see a little sugar pumpkin forming there. All the squash here. This is our mostly squash with a few potato plants. Yep. 
What kind of squash is it again? All different kinds. We got Hubbard and acorn and pumpkins. Our potatoes are pretty ripe, pretty mature now. Uh, we've been getting potatoes out of this, uh, just kind of pulling them off the sides. Already had a good uh, pressure cooker full. These guys, we've harvested a whole bunch. I'm gonna They're harvest so a bunch good. more. These are the sugar snap peas. Yeah. They're, they're so good starting too. to get a little old, but they're still still going strong. They're so good. I just come out and sneak out here after the kids go to bed sometimes. And then uh, and just munch on them. These are our beans. And you can see that these beans are immature, but they're getting there. I have morning glory tangled up with my beans. Say what you do about the morning glory, because I've actually had somebody ask about that. What do I do about morning glory? What do you do about morning glory and beans specifically? Because they can kind of take over. Well, I'm going down as far as I can find on the stock of the Morning Glory. And I'm pulling it up. That's what I'm doing. Luckily, there's only like one stock of Morning Glory in here. Yeah, so could just, be a lot worse. I just killed it. It helps that I think that these beds are kind of further away from yeah. all the other Morning Glory. So these rattlesnake beans, for some reason, grew faster than my, my so Kentucky we'll Blue. These They're are kind of speckled. Yeah, these are really good. Just eat them straight. We like cooking them too. The onions here are basically done. They're hardening off. There they are. Hey, these are the radishes. We'll see how they're doing. They kind of look like they're suffering from a lack of light. I might plant more if I, after I get rid of the onions here. Yeah, they're kind of getting taken over by carrots and onions. And these are our carrots. All these carrots. Lots of them. All of these are carrots. And maybe these are... Yeah, I should probably thin them when I get a chance. What color carrots are there, Alex? They're orange. Orange, yeah, and we also have, ooh, that's a healthy one. Yep. And we got purple carrots and white carrots too, right? Nice looking carrot. Yeah. All right, we've got the new apple trees here. So that one, that one, and that one are still young enough that they don't have any apples on them this year. Oh, never mind. I lied. There are a few on this one. We've got one. I guess there are. Okay, so there are two on that one and three on this one. So they're, they're getting started. There's a couple right there. This tree had a little accident. I let these branches get too long. So this one broke. It broke. But the still, apples are still ripening. They're on there. still, it's not completely broken, so it will continue to ripen. And I'm going to let these apples finish ripening and then I'm going to chop the branch off. The apple tree broke off. Yeah, it broke, didn't it? And cherries. Cherries are all done. Now we are on to plums. We are in right in the midst of plum season right now. These are ripe. I'm gonna pick them this afternoon. We got the golden plums. Yep, the golden plums are ready to go. Look at I all see, those. see like three of them up there that are molding. Yeah, mm -hmm. get those before the mold spreads. And we have our purple plums. I guess that one's all done. We had these trees. All of a sudden, the, all the fruit gets ripe, and you quick have to pick them all, and then we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, <laughs> and we have to give them away to friends and eat them and make things out of them real quick. So the purple one is done now, and then these last two little ones, they aren't producing yet, are they? It's pear. Yeah, this one's a pear tree. So that is all for today, you guys. Thanks for joining us on our little garden tour. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you hadn't done so already so you can get a notification every time I put out a new video. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to go on over and like my Facebook page because I often will post things about our garden in there that I don't necessarily have time to make a full video about. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.